the if component in Matillion ETL can evaluate an expression involving variables and direct the flow of an orchestration job depending upon whether the expression evaluates to true or false. The if component has three output connectors, blue, orange, or red, to indicate whether the expression is true, false, or there has been a runtime error. In this video, we'll use the if component to conditionally report, even when completed, that the job has loaded under 10 rows of data send a message and fail the job. As for this example, we would have been expecting many more rows. We'll start with an orchestration job that I've set up to query data and load it to a table. For this example, we'll be using a YouTube analytics query component. Then we'll need an environment variable. We'll set this up from the manage environment variables option in the project menu. We'll add a new variable called loaded rows to use in the job. And for this, we'll set the default value to minus one, so that it's clear if the default value is being used rather than accurately reporting the amount of rows. Now we'll drag an if component onto the canvas. Before we connect the component up, we'll need to add the loaded rows variable. In the analytics component, navigate to the export tab. Click the edit button where we can export the jobs row count into the loaded rows variable. So under source, select row count, then our new variable loaded rows under target variable. Now we'll connect the if component where the variable can be selected as an input variable. For this example, we'll set this to when the loaded rows are greater than or equal to 10. The if component provides three output connectors, blue for true. So if more than 10 rows are loaded, we can end in a success. Orange is false. For this example, it will send an SNS message as an alert. The loaded rows variable can be used as part of the message to report the number of rows loaded accurately. Then we can explicitly end the job in a failure, which would stop subsequent steps in the job flow from running. Now we can run the job and see that the row count is above 10 so the message and end in failure aren't run and the job has ended in a success. To see the false output, we can change the if condition to greater than or equal to a number well out of the range that we would expect. And if we run the job again, we can see the message has been sent and the job has failed. For full documentation about the if component and other flow components, please visit the Matillion documentation site. And to keep up to date with the latest Matillion documentation videos, please subscribe to the Matillion documentation channel.